And welcome back folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout. We are just in a conversation with Tandy. Um, and we had to make a choice which response to give. Let us go with this option. Hell yes, there's nothing to do here but watch the Brahmin mate. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere. Of so course. This, this must be hell for you. Sure thing. Um, if you're so bored, why don't you leave? Me? Leave? I wish. I don't know enough to leave alone. No one else wants to go. Worst of all, my father says he would have a heart attack if something happened to me. Hmm. Top situation. Can I ask you a few sure, questions, Mo? I've what never is... been out of here, so I don't know what help I can be. Um... So, what you need? And by the way, did you notice how happy she seems to be to help us? Um... That is because we gave that particular answer. Yeah, uh, and I think having been given this, having chosen this answer will have later in the game an important consequence regarding her. Okay, what, is, what else is around these parts? There's a bunch of cities down south, but since you're such a great traveler, I'm sure you know that already. Oh, uh, of course, of course. I was just uh, trying to be polite. No problem. Anything else? Phew. Okay. Uh, what's going on around here? We got rad scorpions. I mean, I know it's not a good thing, but no one's died from the stings. And it's the closest thing to excitement we've got here. Uh, okay, I don't think this is quite such an amusement, but... Okay. Have you heard any stories from down south? Just stuff. Hmm. No problem. Anything else? Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We could... Um, in this game, you can actually talk characters about. I mean, just type random things in, and then the game tries to understand, tries to give an answer. So it's sort of similar to these old school text, text-based adventure games like Leisure Suit Larry, where you just would type in "take bottle" or something instead of clicking on things. So you can take talk. Try to ask about Ian. I don't know. You might want to ask Seth or my father about it, though. But she doesn't seem to know him. What about Seth? Seth's the captain of the guards. My father tried to set us up once, but he is not my type. Oh, um, interesting. Okay. Aradesh is my father. He's okay as far as dads go. I think she has a, a little bit of a crush uh, on us. Okay. How about Raslo? Raslo's the old guy on the east side of town. He's a pretty good doctor, though, even if he is a fossil. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah. I think that's it. Let us see if we can barter with her. She has ten bottle caps, okay. Uh, I don't think we have anything... It would be worth only 10 bottle caps. He okay, doesn't let us just leave. Well, thanks for talking. We don't get many strangers here, so it's always good to talk to new people. Well, see ya. Did you notice the sigh thing at, before she said, well, see ya? I think she most definitely has a crush on us. Okay. Anyway, um, yeah, I didn't save last time, which is kind of bad. I hope, yeah, that nothing, um, that my recording won't screw up again. Okay, um, and I have to remember to save on the right uh, spot, okay. So we've talked to Tandy. Um, that is actually. Oh no, it wasn't this. I think it was in this room. Yeah. Okay, let us talk to Aradesh. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be. Again, we could try. We could try to lie to him. Um, we could try to claim that we are from a small village west of here. 
that mu that might be um, so. If you think about the situation, so your people, uh, the people of Vault Fifteen, they are of course also um, not just endangered by the lack of water, but we've heard what happened to the people of Vault. No, sorry, we are in Vault Thirteen. So we heard what happened to the people of Vault 15 who got raided. So telling other people about our vault might not be such a good idea, actually. So it would actually probably be a, a reasonable thing to lie here. But of course the game wants us to be honest. Wanderer, I shall believe you for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. Okay, can Certainly, I ask you a few what questions? Do you wish to know? How about the other towns? Junk Town lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Yeah, he's not quite as useful as Ian. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Hmm. Oh my, yes. Great Packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know where they're from, and no matter how many we kill, there's always more. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Mm, okay, now here. Again, we have to make a choice. You could just try to be the hero that just offers his help to um, anyone, because why not? It's not like we have been given a quest on our own accord. That's all sort of important. Uh, this one would probably probably be the most sensible thing. I've never actually taken this this option. Um, hmm. I'm not sure. I'm actually curious how he responds to that option. As Dharma said, those who tend their own flock know the shepherd. Hmm. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk hmm, to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures than I. Okay, he doesn't seem to be so bothered now. Greetings. What may I help you with this? It might have been a mistake um, to choose a dialogue option, but I was just curious. Okay, let us try to barter with him. He has 42 bottle caps. Um, Let's see, one of them, how much does it, 200, okay. Uh, hmm. I don't think I can trade anything with you. Instead, let, uh, tell me something about your daughter. Tell me about Tandy. I would like to date her. She is my daughter. It is she that makes this hard life worth living. Hmm. How about Ian? I can't really say I have heard of that. Poor Ian. No one seems to know you. How about Seth? A fine young man, Seth. Captain of our guards. He is likely to be at the guardhouse. How about Raslo? Hmm, yes, yes. Raslo is our doctor. If it ails you, he can heal it. I would wager he is just a little north of here at this moment. How about, um, Red Raiders? <clears throat> Very bad. There are two bands of Raiders that we know of. They call themselves the Vipers and the Khans. Actually, there are three kinds of Raiders. The Vipers, the Khans, and the Jackals. Um, what about Red Scorpions? Mean creatures they are. Be careful of their tail. Their poison can be lethal if not looked after. Okay. Um, how about Katrina? 
Hmm. No, no, I have not heard of that. Uh, no, you don't have. So you are the village elder. You are the leader of these people, but you don't. You don't know your own people. Okay. Anyway, Goodbye. let's just leave this man. He doesn't seem to care about his people. Let us talk to this person. A busy cook. I'm too busy to talk right now. I've got to get this meal ready. Mm, that smells really good. I bet it tastes great. Why, thank you. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Thank you for the compliment. I'm going to tell all my friends about you. And I think... Uh, now, oh, they still ha hate our guts. Um, yeah, people will eventually become more friendly to you um, if you perform enough nice actions. So this is one thing that always bothers me about these kind of RPG games that you eventually just end up being enter playing as the hero, um, as the white knight who helps everyone, which is very, very unrealistic. If you think about it, okay. Anyway. Um, let us see Razlow. You see Russell's wife. Um, okay, how do you know that, actually? Oops. Uh, sorry. Yeah, last time when I tried to take his stuff, uh, he didn't say anything. Can I help you? What do you know about red scorpions? Not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American... Sorry, you're supposed to be old. Uh, not too much. They seem to be extremely large versions of the North American... Empyra Scorpion. Contrary to my medical knowledge, their poison has grown more potent, not diluted, as I would expect. Seth has been hunting them, which helps some of my tests. And how such a large creature can even made be possible by natural evolution or even radiation-induced mutation is beyond me. Yeah, don't go for that dialogue option. Uh, this will just annoy him. Anything else? They seem to be sensitive to light. Nocturnal. If I could get a sample of the poison, especially the venom production sac located in their tail, I could create an anti-venom. Very important information. Here. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. Hmm... Let us actually save. And try to take his. Can I talk to you? I don't need healing. Can I now take your stuff? Yes! No. Can I take your stuff? Yes, I can. Haha. Okay, sometimes. Uh, yeah, you're, you're getting caught sometimes. Not, apparently. Okay, no. We've stolen now his doctor's uh, bag. But more importantly, we've stolen a first aid book. Which we can just read. And then... Magically, you learn better ways to heal your injuries in the field. Yeah, we have increased our medical skills, our first aid skills. By reading this book, and the book, for some reason, magically disappeared. As a result of reading it, um, so when we come back, folks, we will continue to make things disappear. So until next time, folks, until then.